Dear friends, welcome to another Arduino tutorial. Today we are going to take a first look at this very promising new shield for Arduino, the Arduino Easy Module Shield. Also, we are going to build a couple of projects with it. Let's get started. Hello guys, I am Nick and welcome to Educate TV, a channel that is all about do-it-yourself electronics projects with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP8266 and other popular boards. Subscribe to the channel now if you don't want to miss any future videos. Today we are going to use this amazing new shield I discovered a few weeks ago. It is the Easy Module Shield, a low-cost shield that in my opinion is the best shield available for beginners in Arduino. The cost of the shield is around $9, you can find a link for it in the description of the video. The Easy Module Shield offers a lot of sensors and components that will allow you to build many Arduino projects in no time. Let's see what this shield has to offer. A DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, an LM35 temperature sensor, a photoresistor, an RGB LED, two LEDs, a blue and a red, an IR receiver, two push buttons, a buzzer and a potentiometer. With all these components available, you can easily build more than 10 projects. You won't have to solder or connect anything at all. That's very important in my opinion for beginners in Arduino. All you have to focus on is to learn to code and then after you are comfortable with the code, you can move on to more complex projects that require connecting some components together or some soldering. Next to each component you can see the digital or analog pin it is connected to. Also there are a couple of digital pins and one analog pin available for other projects. If you combine the Easy Module Shield with this display, you can build even more interesting projects. I have prepared a detailed tutorial about this display, you can check it by clicking on the card here. Also, you can find a link for this display in the description of the video below. The display is big and easy to use. It uses the I2C interface, so in order to make it work with the shield, you only have to connect 4 wires here. In my opinion, an Arduino Uno, the Easy Module Shield and this 20x4 I2C LCD display is the best kit you can buy if you are a beginner. The cost of this kit is less than $20 and it will allow you to build some very cool projects. Today we are going to build two projects with this shield, but I will prepare many more in the future. The first project we are going to build is a simple one. I won't use the display, just the shield. We are going to light up the RGB LED. A few months back I prepared a detailed tutorial about RGB LEDs and how we can control their brightness using pulse width modulation. You can watch the RGB tutorial simply by clicking on the card here. If we upload the code of that tutorial on the Arduino board with the Easy Module shield attached, we can see that the RGB LED lights up. The code works fine without changing anything at all. Let's now build a more interesting and useful project. We are going to use the 20x4 LCD display in this project in order to build a simple weather station. Let's see how to connect it to the shield. The connection is very easy. All we have to do is to connect the 4 pins at the back of the display with these 4 pins of the shield. The shield has all the pins labeled, so it is extremely easy to connect any I2C device to it. If we load the code and power up the Arduino, on the display we can see the temperature, the humidity and and the light intensity. We are getting the temperature and the humidity from the DHT11 sensor, this sensor here. We are also using the photoresistor in order to calculate the light intensity of the environment. Cool! You can build this project in less than 5 minutes. Let's now see the code of the project. We need two libraries in order the code to compile. We need the library for the DHT sensor and we also need a library for the display. You can find links for both libraries in the description of the video. In the code now. At first we initialize the DHT sensor and the display. Then in the setup function we print the static user interface on the display. We print all the text that is not updated once and then we move on to the loop function. In the loop function, we read the humidity and the temperature from the DHT11 sensor. Then, we read the light intensity from the photoresistor. Since the photoresistor is an analog sensor, the value we get is between 0 and 1023. 
So, in this line of code, I convert it into a value from 0 to 100. That's it. We have saved all the readings from the sensors in variables. So, all we have to do is to print these values in the display. This happens when the print data function is called. After we print the readings on the display, we delay for a second and the loop function starts over. As you can see, the code is very simple and you can modify it easily if you wish. I have also prepared a version of the code with the temperature displayed in degrees Fahrenheit. You can find the code of both Debon projects in a link in the description of the video below. As a final thought, I think that the Easy Module shield is a great shield. It is ideal for beginners and in combination with this display and an Arduino Uno, we have a great low-cost kit. If you are new to Arduino, this is the kit to buy. It will keep you busy for a long time and it will pave your way to more advanced projects. I would love to hear your opinion about this shield. Do you find it useful? And if so, what kind of projects are you going to build with one of these? Please post your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends if you find it interesting. Also, consider subscribing to the channel and do click that bell or YouTube might not show you updates as new videos come out. If you are going to be shopping for parts, check out the affiliate links from the video description. That's it for today guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.